Hi guys, welcome to this uh, virtual box system. Um, some people were talking about SDM and we've made so many nice teams, right? But if you stay rolling, you probably are still on Lightium. Now there is a little alias, so if you update, right? So let's see, update. If you do a scale, if you don't know what scale is yet, go and have a look on arclinks.com so you know what's gonna happen. And if you then, um, well, actually log out on login is better, but we also have a CB, copy bash, then definitely now you'll have all the latest aliases and the latest alias that might interest you is going away from LightDM and installing SDDM as a standard greeting uh, display manager or login manager, status of SDDM. So I've done that already. SDM or the simple desktop display manager is running. How do I do that? Type an alias. Lots of aliases here. S, so two SDM is the one you want. Two SDM installs SDM, activates SDM and tells you guy reboot now, All right? So this is the line to actually go and reboot the system. Now I've done all that and I want to show you the extra package we have. So if you don't have it installed yet, there is something you just can sudo pacman minus s sdm tap tap. And we have here the config editor and that's the application you just saw. The config editor is an application we've added to our ISOs and uh, in the future, of course, uh, if you stay rolling, Right, you need to install it and take a look. We can edit with a graphical user interface. That's one thing to go. And as usual, a graphical, sorry, a graphical user interface is nothing more than a tool to go to a file that you can edit as well with NSDDM. So in here, I've already told him to auto login. I've told him to auto login into XFCE and that my username is Eric. So with a save button here, it's gonna write away some lines. And I've now installed Arch, Arco Linux Arch Paint. So what's this all about? So maybe you've seen the post I made on the social media and sudo pacman minus s Arco Linux as idea. So we've taken control over a few of the themes. So none of these themes are created by us. It's existing themes that we change to fit to Arch Linux and they're on our own GitHub. So we are in full control of these guys. And we can change them, you'll probably see them change over time. But we have some fallout, right? Some eight or nine themes that we have that we can switch around and that's what we're gonna show you guys now. So all you have to do is actually, I've done it like this. I went to Pamac which is easier than typing all ever, everything in. So just start typing Arclinux SDDM and then click, 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 apply and everything is installed. And just so you know, I'm gonna install this for example, just so you know, this guy is, is old. I mean, that was our standard first try to learn about SDDM. And I'm renaming this little guy to Frarun Ra, here it is. So that's the GitHub's name from the developer. So that's old, it will go away and Fraun Ra will be the, the next one. So I have just one team extra to install, SDM Breeze Git, go for it my friend. Now, some of these things, if you go and analyze them in user share SDM themes, you'll see that this is not normal. They are actually very small applications, some of them not that small. So it comes with a lot of dependencies from time to time. It depends what you take. Let's go over them. Arch Paint at this point in time and Breeze comes with a lot of dependencies, like 500 megabytes or something like that. But Chili, Fralon Ra, Futuristic, Retrox, Slice, Sugar Candy, Urban Lifestyle are not, not that complicated as theme as application so they don't need any uh, more a lot, a lot of dependencies sometimes one two but these two guys so you remember arch paint and breeze do require a lot of dependencies 
So that's that. Um, let's look out. Let's see what we have already. Look out. What did I activate by default now? All right. So the paint. So this is a great, um, well, intro, for example, for ALCI, Arch Linux Customized uh, Calamaris Installer. Arch Linux Calamaris Installer, the new project, which is unattached from Arch Linux. It's, it's its own thing. And it's Arch Linux based, so this would be a nice one for that. And now we go on. Let's go get rid of that. I'll just show them, oops, sorry, just show them one by one. But let's first get our SDDM where it's supposed to be, where it's gonna come in the future. Add to favorites. I would like to have it here in the future by default. So general, you choose what you wanna auto log in, your name, and then we have here the themes. Let's go over them one by one. Save. Log out. So the breeze one will need a lot of applications in the back end, but then as a result, you get this, right? It's win-win um, or not, it's up to you. All right, breeze, that's breeze. Chili doesn't require a lot of stuff. So the first two, yes, the others are minor in um, extra dependencies and it's all what you want right it's all what you like to see it's very personal that was chili Frau and Ra was um, or coffee if you remember that back in the days so yeah probably in the future I'll change some wallpapers and all that so this is now dark leathery look rather than an espresso coffee the image you think i think is still there so you can switch futuristic so none of these guys are really for me right they're adapted they've changed I took a new wallpaper and changed some design some look some sizes down here as well and the most important thing is will it provide us are 21 desktops right if we click on this thing will it indeed make it possible that we can select it 21 Not shabby. Do, 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 do. next one is red rock off to red rock we go super x eric super x all right lots of Possibilities, this is transparent, nice look as well. Theme, red rock, slice, had to have that one. It's a bit peculiar, it's a bit special, a bit strange. Super X, log out. But it is nice, it's all black, Sunday. Um, lock caps lock and this one is special right so you have 21 and i've installed them then you scroll through all our desktops like this which is of course pretty neat and then we log back in so i believe with all these themes we have uh, something for everyone and it is fun to create these themes to well they have been created i know that but it's um, still has to go on the github it still has to be changed and new package build and so on and so on it's not like it's just click and play so that's gonna be basically our standard one the sugar candy guy but as you see it's so easy to just quickly change afterwards and that's the point right that's why we provide so many of these choices and like i said wallpapers can change maybe we'll put this guy over here i don't know it's it's in uh, right it's it's creative it's it's uh, we'll see it will change there we are we are at the end 
So, if you were wondering if you might have missed one of the videos prior, um, we've learned that our that SDDM is less vulnerable to wrong drivers. So XF86 video Intel seems to be one of the things that breaks LightDM, either if it's there or it's not there even. So it depends on your hardware. And if you have SDDM and it doesn't care, it doesn't care if, if the video Intel is there or not, it will always boot up. And that's of course the reason why we went for SDDM, so lesser um, people saying, hey, uh, my, my light M is not booting up again, because SEM is less fragile to the fact that there are drivers in there. But of course, NVIDIA drivers will always be an issue, will always be necessary to learn about it, how to update it, how to keep it up to date, how to make sure it's not going to be updated, so you know, it keeps working, stuff like that. But um, I do hope that we um, get a better support via SEDM. And of course, uh, some more fun, right? It's just more fun. If I can make uh, five, five themes in one day, well, I'll make a few more when I find, of course, a few more. So come and tell me maybe on, uh, on, on, on Discord is probably best. Say, look, Eric, this is a nice uh, theme that's there for SDM and I'll take a look. All right, guys, have fun with SEDM. Have a more stable system, maybe. We never had issues with LightDM, but some of us out there do. So that's why we went to SEDM, so to support more people. All right, guys, cheers.